Greetings, Internet! This is ozzy 8 4 and uh, once again, we have another episode of Let's Play Dunmakavu, this time featuring Alice PC-98, boss by Matteo Magnani, who we have seen before. You recall the, um, Flandre boss battle back in contest number one? Well, that was also his. Anyway, the, Matteo is a big fan of the PC-98 game, so he brings something unique to the table by making a, um, PC-98 style-ish boss fight of Alice Markatroid. Obviously going to be, uh, obviously it's going to be very similar in several ways to the, um, Al to the Alice Markatroid fight in Mystic Square, where she is an extra boss. And I have still not beaten her yet, but I've been trying a lot to, I've been trying a lot lately to beat her, so, yeah, well, that's, that's not, that's not important. Let's dive right in. Uh, nothing else to really say allows any use, uh, use of any player, but I'm going to go with ring B, because I know for a fact it was tested with that. One of them. That and ring away. Alright, and we begin. Okay. This opening. I don't know what's with the dots in the opening, because they never show up again, I just realized. But, um, yeah. It's really slow, but it's a fine opener. I, weren't, I really, I actually do like the, uh, I don't know where these things come from exactly, these white, these yellow things. They might be directly from PC-98, I'm not sure, I don't recognize them necessarily. But yeah, all these blue elves are aimed at you. It's an alright non-spell for it for one thing. It's still going on. <laughs> wow, I actually got hit. Lovely. This goes on for entirely too long, I'm serious. This is one of the longest attacks in the damn script. I guess I can use this opportunity to, pick, to talk about the music. Wow, that was stupid. Um, well, for as much as I like remastered to 98 music, um, I actually prefer the original Grimoire Valve to this one. I don't know why. This one just doesn't capture the intensity of it. Whoa! This is a very interesting one. The dots are clearly similar to Alice's first attack in a six square. You know, the one that resembles uh, Data C split. Or rather, the opposite. But then we have these weirdo lasers that just uh, shot down, and then Alice moves across moves across the screen very quickly. And I that wasn't the right way to do that. And I don't know, it's weird, but it's still fun. And uh, oh my goodness, oh these are aimed. Okay, that's how that works. I don't think I noticed that last time. I think it just bombed every wave. All right, all right. It's gonna complain about those, but no, they're did I hit a dot? Whoa. Okay, those get a little fast. Yeah, but it's nothing too bad. It seems like an okay attack. Lasers do get intense. <sighs> Thank you. The lasers do get intense, but not impossibly so. Okay, that is pretty ridiculous. That last wave is whoa. Okay, I don't know what's with the bullets not deleting properly. It's a mystery as to why that happens because. Oh right, random survival card. I don't know what's up with this, because it's... I feel like survival cards seem pointless unless you, uh... Because I'm from artificial diff... Unless you're... A survival card is artificial difficulty, in my opinion. Unless it actually... Unless making it timed actually does something. Like, for example, here it does nothing. What I mean by that is that... It doesn't get harder with time. It's just the same thing for longer. Jeez, that was close. So... I don't see the point in making this a survival. It's weird, unless unless Mateo thought it was too hard to hit Alice while she's moving up. There we go with bullets, not the leading again. Okay, this is probably a legitimate survival card, and uh, I will admit this is a good attack. I like it. Challenging, and it actually make and this actually sort of makes sense for being a survival card because it's difficult to hit Alice. And it does change, but it re but again, it really doesn't get harder with time, and that's what I feel most survival cards should do. Or if not get harder, at least change significantly. I don't know. I think that's what the best survival cards do. Otherwise, they just get dull too quickly. Fortunately, he kept the timers on these pretty short, so I can let them pass. And I, for some reason, like this card. I don't know why. It's hard, but it's not that hard. It's fun. Okay, uh, you are Alice's first attack. And that's similar to it as well, but not quite the same. Bullets home more, more. Um, they take less time before they home. 
and there are less larger bullet. There are less of the larger bullets, and the bullets are larger. And then also, yeah, fireballs and bomb-resistant bolts. Yay. Okay, so the fireballs are new. But thank God, Mateo, you made this attack actually bearable because that was his first attack in the uh, actual game. It's just stupid, it's random spam, and I hate it. It's entirely luck whether I get hit by it or not. So it seems, because there's no hitbox visible. Okay, I'm not really playing this seriously. Okay, now here is day to, is the day the C split card. And uh, while you may, at first glance you may think this is almost the same as Alice's, well, I guess not really. If you played Alice, you know this is actually significantly different. I like how far across the waves come. They actually make them a lot more threatening than they are in Mystic Square. It's a rather fa you don't have, it's not 100% streaming. You actually have other stuff to dodge, and I think this is an improvement over the, PC 90, the original PC-98 card. My only complaint here would have to be that the laser is a, it's a little hard to tell where the la where the uh, laser's hitbox is, sort of. By that, I mean it's not very lenient, and what the hell? Thank you. It sure took you a while. Whoa! Looks like you're emulating the mid-boss of the Six Squares extra stage now. Only, well, okay, only the fireballs really are. Okay, this seems really simple. Just aim bullets and lots of other random stuff, and then we go back to this. Alright, I don't have a problem with this. It's uh, very fast-paced, and, uh, I don't know. It's good. It's a good attack. Just gotta be ready for those. You just gotta be ready for those fireballs. Okay, this seems like, um... I don't know, this is kind of an original idea. Problem. Okay, this is gonna be the second card where Alice moves a fuck ton. And. One of the really only ones where. How long this is taking is actually an issue. Alice does move a lot, but she also seems. But because she moves a lot, and because you're moving a lot. You're actually getting a decent bit of firing time on her. Though it might just be because I'm getting lucky and she's moving where I am. So I'm really not trying to follow her, I have too much to worry about with the bullet dodging. Moving on. Random spam. And random spam. Is that all this is that all there is to this? Oh, okay. Um or random spam. This is like the stat is uh, probably literally the same as that other pattern with the fire drop with the red droplets. Except with these different bullets and uh. Hmm. He thinks that you're pulling a lot, uh, several different elements that don't really go together from Alice's attacks in Mystic Square and putting them together. I'm not really sure. Not a huge fan. That was pretty boring. Uh, oh God, those what's with those lasers. Oh hi, Shinky. Not that I have a problem with it. It's really fun. It is a bit similar to Shinky's attack, I think. I'm not really sure what's different about it. Aside from the fact that it's probably easier. Oh, yeah, it's definitely easier. <laughs> I swear, I'm getting hit. I'm getting hit mostly because I'm talking. Oh, 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 that was dangerous. I heard some people complain about the graphics in this, but honestly, graphics are fine. I actually, for some reason, I don't have a problem with that. And oh, hi, exact replica of PC-98 attack. Only easier because I can see my hitbox. Yeah. I don't know what's the point of remaking a boss if you're just going to make the same attacks, if the attacks exactly the same. I'm okay with basing them off of off of attacks and uh, adding your own unique spin to them, but if they're exact duplicates, then I don't really see the point. Just play the original. Okay, I'll give you one thing though. He did make those attacks easier because uh, it might just be because of the visible hitbox, but uh, this attack. Well, thank God, Mateo, you did not put purple on purple on purple. It's just purple on purple here. <laughs> this background is not purple, which means this card is, like, ten times easier. And ten times less stupid. I hate this attack in, in the original PC-98. It's bearable here, but again, it's still the same attack, and it ain't very creative, and it's still kind of boring. And it's taking forever, just as long as it is in the original, yeah. Ugh. Of all the attacks you could have directly copied, it had to be this one, didn't it? <sighs> I most hate it. Lovely. Okay, thank you for done with that. Okay, those bullets... Oh, shh! 
Hello, uh... God! Those home a ridiculous amount. I don't care. It, like, made a full 360 to follow me. The original Cheeto Lasers did not do that. I don't care how ridiculous they were. They did not curve that much to chase me. What? Look at that! It turned, like, 180... Almost 180 degrees to follow me! This is ridiculous. These Cheeto Lasers need to be nerfed. The original were bad enough. Okay, what's this? Forbidden Page, Evil Earth in Deep Water. Just occurred to me, but these spell cards have names. I assume since it was in PC-98 style, they didn't have names, so I wasn't reading them. <laughs> Sorry if they had names all along, I didn't notice. Okay, suddenly music change. I'm not sure where Mateo got this idea from, but apparently Alice is now, uh, opening a forbidden page in the Grimoire. Ironic, because I'm pretty sure I thought the Grimoire was already forbidden in the first place, so this must be really forbidden. But, uh, that, uh, summons, uh, Beast in the Water? I'm remembering it poorly, but something to that effect, I think. As you can guess by me not shooting, it's a survival card. Joy. <laughs> not a bad survival card, I guess. I don't know, this first phase is pretty, like, random spam. I don't know, unless, I don't know, do you see some kind of pattern to it? I just see random spam. Wow, figures I died at the end. Hey, hey, what's next? Oh, wait, I know what's next. It's this, which is actually somewhat interesting. Unlike the random spam. It's not very hard, and it takes forever, but... At least not random spam. My god, it's quiet. Too quiet. Okay, I gotta admit, Mateo, this music is unsettling. You did make an interesting pattern here, but... Yeah, you can see the timer there. It's only reached 90 seconds now. Yeah, I've heard it from him. This is my original suspicion when I first played this, and it has been confirmed, I believe. The reason this survival card is... Oh, come on. Why does he keep doing that? The reason this survival card is so long is because the music he wanted to use was so long, so he admit fit the card to the music. I'm sorry, Mateo, but that's not the right way to make games. The gameplay has to come first. Music in is an aesthetic. You can add that in after you're done with the gameplay. You really shouldn't make gameplay to suit the aesthetics, because then you can have problems such as ridiculously long survival card, for example. All three of those phases should have been should at least 25% of each phase should be like cut off. Okay, I I don't Some people didn't like this because of walls, but because people just don't like walls in general, but I think this is actually a really fun section. This might be the most fun section of the entire card. For all people, for all the flack that this flack that people give walls, know that unless a wall is completely impassable and unavoidable, then it's fine, because look, I'm finding ways around the walls, you just have to look for them. It's, it's less a test of your, able to, of your ability to dodge and your ability to read ahead. And I think a lot of people that just aren't good at that say, ah, walls, dislike. See, I just beat it my second time ever playing it, and I beat the wall section without, without getting hit. It's not that bad, people. But yeah, that was actually a decent card. I like, I like that last part. Random spam, no, not a huge fan of, and it went on for too long. But yeah. Final comments. Uh, that was a that was a pretty fun um, boss. As usual, I always find some problems with it, but overall, uh, it was definitely definitely fun, and it definitely captured the uh, the spirit of PC ninety eight to an extent. I was disappointed that there were three attacks that were pretty much direct copies, and those god awful cheap Cheeto lasers. They are also. I don't even know if I can call them Cheeto lasers. Should I call them French fry lasers? Since they're kind of like rectangular instead of uh, rounded. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, let's call them the French fry lasers. The French fry lasers are stupid. Uh, I don't know why they're French fry shaped because I've seen people make actual Cheeto lasers in Dunmaku before, so I know it's possible. Uh, so, but uh, not really big deal. It's just it's just an aesthetic. My problem with the French fry lasers is how much. It's how ridiculously hard and silly they are. Also, and then add to that the fact that it's just an exact, nearly an exact copy of the original, which was hard enough. 
Um, Red opening takes too long. Several attacks, um, not very many, but a couple of them have owls move a lot and take forever. It's just the first one that really suffers from that problem, though. I don't really think the rest have it too badly. Um, uh, what else? Um, survival cards where they really didn't need to be survival cards. Um, yeah, you didn't need to make the one with the circle bullets a survival card. The hexagon one was okay. I think they were hexagons. Um, that's about it. You, can, I, that's those are the main major things to say. Overall, script was great. I loved, I loved a lot of the concepts. The last survival card was good. Now, okay, I'm gonna stop repeating myself. This is this has been Nauseates for Rose. Let's play Dunmakafu, Alice PC98 Bat Boss by Matteo Magnani. Have a good day.